Okay, hi everybody. Um, so this is a diagram to explain how to find the shadows that would be cast inside of a cylinder from a given light source. Um, the hard part of this is not the actual plotting of the points. The hard part is kind of gaining some understanding of what's actually going on. And to that extent, I've, I, to speed up the demo, what I've done is I've drawn, drawn a lot of the points that I think you guys already should know about. Things like, for instance, you know, when you get into, um, say, how to find the terminator. Okay, well, you should know how to do that, how to find the terminator on the inside and the outside. That should be okay. You should know, for instance, how to plot, you know, a cylinder or a, the shadow of an ellipse on the ground plane, and you'd have another one like that, and you know they'd be connected and that would be the shadow of the cylinder. So you should be comfortable with all of that stuff before attempting this. Um, I'm assuming you are because we've been talking about it in class. Now let's talk about kind of the general logic of the thing. The difficulty is you've got these shadows being cast on a curved surface. Now one way, I think I'm just going to show it to you this way first. If you imagine this kind of pancake-like shape going like this in space. That's on the ground plane. Now our problem is that is still going to be there. That shadow is still going to be cast, but it's going to be cast upon a curved surface. So here's how I would think about it. Imagine drawing, if this is the, the center line of the cylinder, basically it's going to go kind of like this. If you can imagine that. And then on the back side, which you can't actually see, it's doing this. And so essentially this same shape is getting wrapped up onto the cylindrical form. I think that's the best way I can explain it. Uh, it's the best way I know how to explain it anyway at this point. Uh, but I want to show you kind of how you calculate that. So here's how you do it. First of all, it I want you to be able to visualize where the shadow is going to fall. So the shadow, if we if we filled out all the stuff you already know, you should end up with something like that. Just the terminators and the ground plane, etc., etc. Okay, now let's talk about how to plot the additional points, which would be falling something like this. You know, and I'll show you kind of how those are worked out. Okay, so this is how we do it. Um, if you if you notice a given point, say, for instance, like right here, that's the shadow on the ground. Now we need to relate that to the cylindrical plane that we're dealing with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring it over here to the drip line, you know, using the vanishing point. Oh, by the way, notice that it's the vanishing point we're using, not the radiation point. So we're bringing it out with the vanishing point. We're taking it up to the light source using the light source until we hit the curve of the ellipse of the cylinder. And, and that's important because that's the plane in space we're trying to reference. Then we go back with the vanishing point until we hit that light line again. And that point is the point we're trying to find. Now, if you keep going like this, you'll notice a th few things. So for instance, if I go from here and I go out using the vanishing point, I go up using the light source, I go back and then I go up. There's another point. And I continue to do this and at a certain point what you're gonna see is like, hey wait a minute, actually I didn't draw this quite right, it should hit about there. And I come back and I get that point. You can see where they're headed. They're headed towards that terminating point. Now this is what's important to understand is this part of the shadow we see out here, that is continued right there. You know, as soon as we, actually I'll show you this in a second, but as soon as we see this arc wrapped, it, it actually wraps like that. Now one other last thing is notice here the sphere is sitting basically on the ground. So when I get to this point, I've got no place to go. I, I can't go up to the light source. I'm, I'm already on the cylinder, so I just go back. And what you're going to end up with is a curve 
Let me see if I can draw it a little better than this. You're going to get a curve kind of like that going across the cylinder. Now, when I finally plot them out, like that's the same kind of points already finished. And then what I should end up with is something. Let me fade these out for a second. What I should end up with when I put the additional shadow in is something that looks kind of like that. All right, so um, continuing from there, the last thing I want to mention about this is this is kind of a key key idea. This arc here does not exist anymore. It's in it's you know because the cylinder's interrupting it. This arc here is is thrown upon the inside of the cylinder here. And it's and notice that it's meeting right there then up here it comes and hits the terminator. So anyway, that's how you guys do it. I hope that helps, <laughs> and good luck. Um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing your projects, so I'll see you soon.